Hello, this is Philips from Plasderms Design Company and uh, this is another quick tip where I'm going to show you how to work with audio inside After Effects and I'll, I'll be covering uh, some of the main things that you need to know uh, when you're working with uh, audio files or video that consists of uh, both image and audio inside After Effects. Uh, if you see a speaker icon next to one of your layers, this means uh, this layer has some kind of audio. Uh, some layers can have both uh, the eye uh, icon and the speaker icon. Most likely that's a composition with audio in it. And uh, once you have your audio files in your composition, there are several ways how you can uh, play back your audios and uh, how you can listen to them. You can either use the RAM preview by going to uh, RAM preview panel and clicking this button or hitting uh, zero or yeah zero button on on numpad you will get uh, run preview which will preview both the image and audio uh, you can also hit uh, uh, dot button or point button point key on numpad and this will preview your audio alone so no image, just the audio, and this is this is uh, a good thing if you need to just listen back to your audio and you don't want to wait for the image to render because, uh, as you know, run preview it takes quite a lot of time to to render the image. So sometimes you just want to listen back to the audio, and you can easily hit uh, the dot key on numpad and listen back to your audio alone. There are no uh, no many things you can do with audio inside After Effects like for regular compositions or layers you have a lot of parameters like uh, position, scale and so on. For audio you have just uh, uh, just two things which you can change. One is audio level and another one is waveform. and uh, uh, usually you can open them up by clicking this uh, little switch but sometimes you need to see just one of them and the shortcut for this is you can hit L on keyboard if you hit it just once you will really reveal all your levels and as with all parameters you can keyframe this for example from uh, audio being at 0 to being at minus uh, 48 which is uh, totally silence or we'll be removing this or if you hit LL or L key twice you get waveform and this is useful if you want to do a basic mixing inside After Effects it's useful to to see the waveform or if you want let's say line up your <coughs> audio with your animation like at the moment I will want to go and find a point where my logo is uh, is actually fully came on the screen and where I want to, the audio to start so I can see the waveform and adjust this to according to my animation um, for example, for, for this audio, I've used some keyframes to, to fade it out. And uh, at the moment, you see just uh, there is just one parameter. However, there are two tracks. This is stereo track. And I'll change the color so you can see it better. You see there are two tracks, but just one audio parameter and actually there is a way you can control each of those uh, channels separately you need to bring out the audio panel you go to window uh, click on audio and this brings out the audio panel uh, in this panel you can do the same as here you can change this and you see this changed as well but the best thing which you can do here is you can change each channel separately and what this does it creates two values here so you can uh, separately um, keyframe both of them uh, 
Um, one more thing, uh, which is uh, built inside After Effects, it's uh, creating a loop. Of course, you could uh, take your short, short audio file and just duplicate it and try to stick it at the end of uh, the previous one. But instead of doing this, you can just go to your pro uh, project panel, um, click on your audio file, right click, uh, interpret footage, main, and here you see uh, the only parameter which you can change here is loop times, and you can change this to 2 for example, or whatever you need. And now you can just expand this, and you see it creates a perfect loop. Again, this is uh, this requires that audio file is correctly cut in the correct position. If it's not cut uh, in the correct looping position, you will not get correct looping. But this will give you a chance to loop your audio without duplicating the audio several times. Now, once you have you have uh, finished working on your project and you have uh, mixed your audio and created the animation, previewed it, and it looks fine. You need to export your project. And uh, oftentimes people go to File, Export, because that seems uh, logic, but not for After Effects, because in After Effects this Export function, don't know really why it's there, but that's not the correct way to get your file out of the other After Effects. The correct way is going to Composition, uh, add to render queue. Of course, you have to open your uh, composition, the one that you want to render. Go to composition, add to render queue, and you have a render queue dialog. And now you have to click on lose less and make sure you check this audio output uh, um, checkbox because otherwise your uh, project will be rendered with no audio. And make sure you specify the audio options and video options as well. Click OK and uh, then go and hit render. This is uh, most common mistakes which a lot of uh, even experienced users make because sometimes uh, they forgot to check this uh, simple checkbox. If you don't check it you don't get any audio at all so make sure you check it and your project will be rendered with the audio. Again, my name is Philips, I'm from Plasderm Design Company and thank you for watching.